Hi, welcome once again for another session of SQL tutorial using DB2. On today's session, we'll alter SQL script to sort data, use view as a source of report, we group data to generate totals, we set up the group header and footer, create variables to hold value of the totals, and set page number as page footer. The common questions that I got every time that I teach a report writer, is there a way to sort data inside the report writer? And the answer is yes. To do that, let us visit our previous report that we have done. Let us launch iReport. Click Department Report on Recent Reports. Let's run again Preview. You would notice the department name is not sorted alphabetically. To sort it, we go back on the designer view, click this button to edit SQL script, and issue an order by. So department name is under column number 2. So we include here 2. And press OK. Let's preview again. The list is already sorted alphabetically. We will proceed on the creation of reports using views. We will create report that will display the department name, the name of the manager, and the list of employees under that department. On each department, you need to include the employee number, the last name, the first name, the job, the salary of each employee. At the end of that department, you need to generate a total of its annual salary. If you will recall, we have already done a view similar to this. Let us connect with DB2. Connect to. Previously, we have done a view, amp depth MGR view. All the columns that we need for the report were already included on this view. If you check its content, You have everything what you need. Now, our next challenge is how do we convert this into a report? Let us go back on our iReport. Click now File, New, and click. Supply a report name, Department Employee. Click Next. Click Design Query. So instead of tables, we will get our source from a view. Click view. Same schema. And here we could see the MDEP MGR view. Double click this view. And we have all the columns that we need. Click OK. Click next. Include all the columns. Next. Here we're going to group by department name. Click next. And we're done setting up the report. Finish. You would notice on our report inspector, we have additional band included in the report. These are group header and group footer. Now, let's include this on our report. You just select this one, click select, then right click your mouse. You add the band. You would notice that additional band is added on our designer area. The significance of this is 
all the data or columns placed under this band will be generated every time there is a change of department name. How about the group footer? Let's select this one. Right click, add band. If you go down, there is another band added on our designer area. What is the significance of this group footer? You're telling the report all of the data or columns listed under this band will be printed or displayed whenever there is a change of department name. Let us start placing columns under department name group header. It will ask now what kind of value do you want to display. You use that field value, click OK. Notice as you drag the work depth column, it does not supply a label text. You will only generate a label text of a column when you drag it inside the detail band. On this case, we will supply a label for our work depth. So we go now on our palette and check and drag label text. Increase its size and bold. Now we will supply the remaining data needed under this band. Now we start dragging all the information needed under the detail band. Let us check. A 
adjust the salary column with a format right click yield pattern currency by preview let us go back still salary selected we click this one right justify preview again so we have aligned zero Let us put title of the report. Add page break every time there is a change on department name. Drag break. Page break. So this line serves as the page break under group footer let us check go to the next page next page next page Let's add total for the salary. Click variable. Right click. Add variable. Underneath the pilot window, you would see the properties window. On this case, we're going to rename our variable. We make it total salary. So the variable class would be big decimal. And calculation would be sum. The reset type would be by groupings. On this case, total salary will reset every time there is a change on department name. Click this one. And we choose now the variable expression. So there would be a window asking you what column should we calculate sum we select salary double click this one click ok and the salary properties the total salary variable is already set on your report inspector you drag the total salary and place it under the group footer depth name Let us align. Make sure this is right justified. You also edit the field pattern. Make it also currency. Apply. You supply the label text. Let us check. I think we have a correct total. 
Let us check other reports. Go back. Let us insert page number. Had the current date. Let us see. You would notice that department name and last name are not sorted alphabetically. To sort this, click the SQL script. Place order by. Department name is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that would be 7. And last name is number 2. Click OK. Preview. So we have this one. Check the other one. OK. 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 Okay, so we have done our report. One good practice that I can give to everyone is to leave all the left joining of tables in views. That's the purpose of views. Although you can alter the script of SQL inside a report writer, it is advisable that you finalize the sort order in views. If you like to see the script of the video presented, please click the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Buy the book for more challenging exercises with solutions. Visit our Facebook and Twitter account. Bye!